Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing your March 2023 readings. Um, if this is your first time, welcome. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I had to take a break during uh, February, guys. We, I did suffer a loss in the family, and um, I'm in the middle of relocation. Um, but I'm back. I was I, I was on a really good drive. Uh, the other day when I started these the first half of the videos and then I got stuck on deal and then I had to wait a couple of days to gain regain the momentum but here we are Aquarius last but not least but at least we're here um I'm still taking personal readings you guys I, I highly encourage you to uh, follow me over on Instagram. I did do the uh, monthlies by element over there as well If you needed more, you know details or just more Just more tarot because we could always use some more right <laughs> you can follow me over there. It's a more intimate space I go live monthly over there um, Once I'm settled into the new place. I will come back for the live um, question sessions here on YouTube as well as um, Go back to um, the stop trying to make it make sense series um I'm starting off your reading today with the Sacral Chakra Oracle deck by my friend Michaela Davis. Um, she's an evolutionary astrologer, and I will have a link to her YouTube in the description box below. All right. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, yeah, the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, interesting. You have the mirror here. You could be dealing with a... Gemini connection. You could be dealing with the Pisces um, boundaries. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. That's the Nine of Wands or a Leo. Something is extremely triggering, Aquarius. Um, you see something in someone that you have a very strong connection with. Um... But you're blocking it. Like you're afraid. There's something that's scaring you here. It could be an int the intensity of a relationship here. Um, with the Nine of Wands here though. I feel like you do want to drop this, um, this blockage here. Because from the Nine of Wands in the reverse to the Seven of Wands. I do see you slowly but surely opening up to this person. I do see a connection. I do see a deeply rooted passion for this person and i feel like it, it's very mutual the energy here um i feel like you see a lot of strength in this person and this person equally sees the same strength in you i feel like there's a lot of uh, mutual respect around each other uh, each other's beliefs each other's um ideologies everything there's uh, uh um it's a, it's an amazing blossoming of a, a, like a round of events for you it's it, it's like it's it's going so slow and equally so fast aquarius and it's like the more you want it to slow down, the faster it speeds up. And then when you get used to it and you want it to slow down and it slows down, you want it to speed up again. So it's like you're, you're kind of sending mixed signals to the universe, but the universe kind of understands the anxiety around this developing relationship, I guess. Let's see more details. Okay, yeah, the two of wands here. I think you've already decided that this is your person. With the two of wands here, especially the way he's holding the world, it's like you decided this is the end game. And even though you have yet to express it, Aquarius, this is kind of, um, this is like a, um, this is a heartfelt decision. Like, you're not showing it in your face and you're not showing it in your emotions uh, out front out loud but in your heart like you've already made this decision 
and this deci this decision Aquarius has brought a lot of peace to you and the con the connectivity with this person has increased since you've made that decision and this person doesn't even like you haven't even expressed to this person that this is it for you so well, this is very deep i love aquarius's the ace of wands you guys are so like deep with emotion and it's just like you see the, you like you see things way deeper than anybody who, who just anybody i feel like aquariuses and virgos have this analytical vibe to them that they just they can't miss any detail they won't miss any detail and it's because they they take the time to study and understand and just the the passion behind the knowledge the thirst for knowledge is really what it is and it makes for a good relationship when you're studying the person that you're trying to be with and i think that you've been you've been doing this for quite some time and that's why it wasn't hard for you to make this decision like what still feels fresh and new to your partner or to your person whoever it is that you're courting here some of you guys this is a, this could be a, already a relationship but i feel like a lot for uh most of you aquarius is this is a developing relationship um but with the two of wands and the ace of wands like even though this is a brand new energy even though this is brand fucking spanking new to the to your um to your interest like with the two and the and the ace of wands we have the three of wands like you see the end game you see the ships coming in already you see the benefits of the relationship as a whole between you two and the thing is that you have an undying passion for this person and this person equally has an undying passion for you and i feel like you have either a never felt the type of um connectivity that this person provides for you whether it's emotionally or i feel like it's intimate i really do feel not necessarily sexually even though it can be with the ace of wands it could be that the, you know it it's a this person has an extremely high sex drive or you aquarius which i wouldn't be surprised but um it, it there's desire behind the intimacy and the intimacy and the desire are one it's like it's not like i said it's not necessarily a sexual energy it's a a wanting uh, um yeah wanting i want to say a desire to possess but i feel like that's a little overboard like this person or you aquarius like i don't necessarily feel like it's a possession thing i just feel like it's a like a, a longing almost if i could if i could explain the feeling right it, it's more of it's more of a tight embrace than a than a choking you get me like this person doesn't or you does not want to be overwhelming they just want a security and i feel like you provide a lot of security for this person or this person really does provide security for you but like i said you definitely studied this person way longer than they realize and that's why even though it may seem like a rush decision from the outside looking in it, it doesn't matter because you you took the time like you took the time to study and research and make this decision final now because of the the analysis that you did in the beginning and because of that like like i said it may seem sped or rushed um from your partner's side but 
not really. It, it really isn't to you. And the, but because you understand that it, it could possibly spark some type of fear in your in your person, you don't want um, your person to block you or turn around and and um, run away from you after it took you so much time to let down your boundaries here. So you're keeping this information to yourself right now, Aquarius, and I think that's okay. I mean, eventually you're probably going to blurt it out with the Ace of Wands because it's like um, like saying I love you for the first time type of energy. Like you've already decided you love this person and you you just haven't expressed it. But I feel like it's more than that. Like you've, you've decided that this person is your person like to the end of time. And you just don't want to exp express that because you don't want to scare your person away. And that's that's also fine, too. Like, take your time. Like, God will lead you to when and, and where will be the right time to express these things. Um, but like I said, the, the decision is already made. The, heart, the Like, the heart wants what it wants. And um, with the two of wands, you, you want this person. And this person equally wants you. Uh -huh, justice card yeah i feel like marriage i feel like you've already decided with the star card this person's a wish come true and you're and you're their wish come true aquarius energy here with the star card like they're like two marriage cards you have the justice card and the six of wands this person sees victory with you and you see this person as a dream come true like you wished on a star for this person and they're here and with the justice card here this is why you decided like yeah no like i'm gonna marry this person this is my person, this is my spouse, this is my forever person, this is my soulmate, this is my whatever. Like, this is your end. This is the end, friend, this is the end. And, yeah, very, very beautiful reading, Aquarius, honestly. The first will be last and the last will be first. And this is beautiful, like, the best reading I did of all 12 signs, to be honest. Yeah, sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate. Go on a retreat. And that's what you've been doing. Like, since you've been with this person, you definitely have isolated yourself from the outside world. And like I said, while you were um, studying this person and really understanding who they were or who they are as a person, like, you were able to seclude yourself from other people's um, thoughts or... Um, opinions about the situation or about the person you steered clear about it because and that's another reason why it was so easy for you to make the final decision here all right you have compassion be gentle with yourself forgiveness will set you free see the light in yourself and others you have compassion for the situation because I think that you are trying to take it slow for your partner's sake. It's not It's not only that you feel like this person is fearful and will run away or is fearful and they will block you. You understand that this person is healing from something as well with the star card here, possibly a marriage as well. Um, and they're holding on to some scarring here with the four of pentacles and the, and the three of swords. And that's what you're truly afraid of with the seven of wands that popped out again, which is telling me to stop because this is where you're at now. So with the with the friendship card here, it's like you really do want to offer this person the full experience of becoming friends with them and courting them and dating them and giving them the option to become your um your person and then eventually you know to engagement and then this marriage I, I that you see in the long run for you um and i really think that's a very compassionate thing that you're doing that you're definitely giving this person a love that you deserve as well and i think that the only reason why you feel the need or feel obligated to create this environment or create the scenario for your person 
is because you know that this person would equally do that for you and you have this matching energy for it and it's going to unfold very beautifully all right could be dealing with the libra here but uh let's get our final message here went on a little bit longer than i intended here but it was just such a it was such a beautiful reading i had to keep going yeah the shining lotus number 26 all right you have there are times when it makes sense to be discreet until you find your inner strength so that you feel empowered enough to share your thoughts feelings and beliefs without wavering even the face of challenge by another at other times we benefit ourselves and others by taking a risk and allowing the inner light uh, inner lotus blossom of our true self to shine forth for all to behold you want to share this person with the world like you want to shout i i love this person like at the top of the rooftops like you're ready to really like you're proud of your person you're really proud of your person and your person is equally proud of you and i think that you guys are at that next step where they want to show you off or you, you want to show them off and it's definitely um coming together for you like that because this person really does care for you and it, it's really like i really do feel like this is gonna this is the start of a very beautiful love story aquarius all right that's what i have for you guys and i hope this helped bye